one thing I've had the pleasure of, uh, I've been privileged to represent some uh, folks that were officers or very high executives with publicly traded companies, companies traded on the New York Stock Exchange. And those cases present their own set of different, uh, or, or have some unique um, aspects uh, in that. One of the things that's important in a divorce is for a party to each party to make full disclosure of information that people need to understand the estate. Um, and many times we have set discovery requests that if you respond to them um, would require, a full response would require a disclosure of some information that as an officer of a publicly traded company has to be maintained as confidential because it's insider information or maybe confidential because of the uh, because of other factors with the company um, so there, there is a tension that can be uh, present if important stuff is going on while the divorce is, is happening and what I do is when I have when we would have interrogatories saying tell me everything that you can about this company and if that company is publicly traded and this is a, um, an officer, um, I've got to do an objection to that request to say there are some things that he, may, he or she may know that he can't disclose to anyone outside the company. So to the extent that we are bound by duties of confidentiality and, and United States securities laws, <laughs> we, we can't answer that. And they shouldn't tell me. You know, that's information they shouldn't even tell me, um, even though it might be interesting to the other side to know that, oh, they're planning a takeover or somebody's trying to take us over. Um, that's just stuff that doesn't get published until the SEC says so. So that, that, that's an interesting line.